Okay. Today, I'm going to show you guys some of the new triggers here. <clears throat> if you're having trouble wondering what these do, uh, I'll show you guys right now. Some of these work, some of these don't. Some of these do nothing. Okay, so keep that in mind. In order for them to work, you have to apply them to something. To show that off, let me go ahead and play real quick. So first we'll start with this guy. This guy does nothing yet. Okay. You can rip his arm off. The problem is, it doesn't do anything. because There's nothing you can uh, put it on yet. There's supposed to be a panel in here. I guess I forgot to put it in. Uh, we're supposed to put the hand on there. Uh, it's not in there yet, so when it gets put in there, then you have some use out of that. Jump boots, they do nothing, because I already have double jump, so I can do much with them. But, you can set that up a certain way so you can get double jump out of it. This, of course, does nothing. Well, if you want, you can set that up so it gives you more armor, or more health, if you want to do it that way. There's no menu for it yet. I want menus in here, but they haven't done it yet, so that's gonna be cool. Of course, that does nothing. Uh, if you want, you can have it set up so it puts a mod on your gun, but you can't pick which mod you want, unfortunately. So, you have to label them on top in order for that to work. Again, that does nothing, because you have to tie something to it in order for it to do something. Once again, there's no menus in here yet. So, until they put those in here, you're going to have to type this up and make it give you more health or something like that. And, of course, this thing. Again, does nothing. You have to tie it to something. <clears throat> so, now I'll show you how to use each one for certain things you want to do. So for starters, this guy. You can make this guy get basically give you basically just give you like a key or something. So let's say uh I'm about the power cord. Let's say a blue key card and it's just colored in blue. So that's what that guy will do. Let's say right off the bat. Loadout. Enable double jump. Let's grab and keep. So you have no double jump right off the bat. Do that. Enable double jump. Okay, so this, when we spawn in, it'll disable it, but this will enable it. Okay. For this guy, we can make him give us. Have him give us armor. Ooh, these are new. Hmm, okay. So let's say we want to give us about 100 armor. Okay. So, we access that guy, we give us 100 armor. This thing, we will have this. Give us a weapon, but we're going to give us a charge burst. For this, we will use this to upgrade our health. So it's not got about 200%. Health. 
So this give us uh, that'll give us armor. This will give us a new weapon mod. This will give us our health. At least double it. That'll give us double jump. This will give us a key. And this. Start a wave event. Let's do a sound uh, lockdown while we're at it. There's module. There we go. Do we need? No, we don't need the HUD. We need the POI. So we just do it without him. Okay. So now, <clears throat> when we play, we get different things out of those. the bat. I only got a single jump. Now I got double jump. Got a blue key. There you go. That's how you get that stuff to work. <clears throat> now, of course, like everything else in the game, it's fully customizable. You can do it any way you want, set this up for whatever you want. Okay? But that's basically how you can set it up so that you can make it more like a single player campaign than just a multiplayer. That being said, hope you found this helpful, and until then, y'all take care. <laughs>